Hi guys, how's it going? My name is Matthew Tarrant. I'm a member of the Great Britain rowing team. And this is my first, hopefully not my last, video blog. Um, it's just an idea I had to give you a bit of a behind the scenes look at what a professional athlete goes through um, throughout his year. This year's a big year, it's the uh, Rio Olympics. I'll be doing everything I can to earn my place on the team to go to the Olympics. And um, I just thought it would be a good idea to start these blogs to um, give you guys at home a, a good perspective on what we go through. I'll be taking you along to training camps and competitions, maybe a bit of day in the life of sort of vibe. Um, but basically, I, this is my first vlog and I am about to drive up to Nottingham for the British Championships. It's the first event of the year really for us in the team. It's an event where you have to go to if you want a chance to go through the trialling system to earn your place within the team. So it's a lot of fun. You represent your home clubs, which is great fun. I'll be up there representing also Brooks University. The guys and the girls there are really strong-minded and, you know, a lot of heart. We know how to hit it hard. And um, Brooks has built up a good reputation in the rowing world, to be honest. And... Um, we're going to go there, we're going to give our best shot. We've shown some good speed. I'm really looking forward to it. And, um, yeah. Okay, we've made it. We're now up in Nottingham after a few wrong turns. Satnav didn't seem to like this place too much. It's just before 10 pm. Uh, nice and quiet. I haven't been to this hotel before. Um, yeah. Let's get checked in, see what the room's like. Okay, so, I arrived in the room. 10 past 10. Fairly small, decent bed. You know, nothing too crazy. Just here to do the business, really. Okay, so, it is now 6.50am. Uh, I've been up for a while now. Um, I chose to keep my alarm. Uh, it's normal time, I want to stay on my normal schedule so I don't fall out of the sink and make it up in the morning a lot easier. Um, fortunately, because it's a weekend, uh, the hotel here does not do cooked breakfast. The breakfast is up till 7.30. So, what I've done, I've filled in the form, I've put up my door and I've had room service bring me breakfast, thankfully, but it is all cold. The only hot item is coffee. Um, and here is what I have. Breakfast is one of the most important meals of the day, as today is going to be a lot of racing. Um, it is important that I do fill myself up now, because throughout the rest of the day, the, I'm probably going to be snacking on sugary treats. There's, there's not really enough time between training to eat any full meals, so most athletes just tend to snack. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to pack this in, and then in a little while I'm going to hit the road. and. Um, Catch you guys back up when I'm at Nottingham Lake. Uh, see you later. Okay, here we go. We are at Nottingham Water Sport Centre, home pier point. Some say it is the home of rowing. I beg to differ. Lovely conditions today. Uh, slight tailwind breeze, nice and flat, calm. Perfect. What you're looking at here is the last 200 metres. This is when. If you've got nothing left in the tank, you've got to try and give it a little bit more. So, a little bit overcast, not too bad, nice and cool. It's going to be a good day. Catch up later. Okay, so we've just finished our uh, time trial. Uh, it went really well, actually. Uh, went out there, flat paced it. First long distance piece we've done, you know, the first piece over 1500 meters. So, a nice little lung opener. Um, really impressed with how the boys handled themselves. We fin finished, I think, second. So, just ahead of University of London, just nip them, just behind Leander. Uh, next up, in a couple of hours, we have our AB semi. Uh, conditions still look pretty fair. Not too strong tailwind, good conditions still. Really looking forward to it. I'm, I'm 
Everyone else is ready. Got that. Yeah. 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 Okay, um, we've just raced our semi-final. Good race, good solid platform. Guys did really, really well. Uh, all went to plan really, had a really good start. Good first 750. That was the plan, we stuck to it. Uh, boys did really, really well. The final is in two hours time. So I've just finished my warm down walk. Got some a bag of goodies to start eating. And uh, yeah, put my feet up, chill out, you know, take the weight off your legs, let them fully recover, and uh, hit the ground running in the final. It should be a good show. Leander are looking strong, UL are looking strong, and uh, fortunately for us, we're looking strong, so. So, just got back from Nottingham, long drive, pretty tired, uh, good day's racing, looking forward to getting to bed. Uh, hopefully, from the footage you've just seen and the, uh, the little photo of us on the middle podium, you will see that we did come away with the gold and we, we won the British Championships. Um, I knew we found good speed in training, it's just great when it all comes together. Um, I knew we could do it, I didn't think we could do it by such a big margin. Um, massive respect to Leander and UL though for taking second and third. Uh, it must have been hard for Leander. They had raced on Saturday in the uh, Coxus Fours, so they did have a whole day of racing in their legs. Um, but I suppose you can compare that to our crew. We were together for three sessions before going to Nottingham. Um, but in that short period of time, we managed to bring together the, the basic aspects of what makes a boat go fast. And if you add to that the heart and the determination, and eight determined and stubborn individuals, a boat is going to go well. And uh, this is the first time Oxford Brooks have won the eights at the British Championships. It was a great result for us as a boat club. I know the majority of the uh, senior athletes all competed yesterday in the Coxes Fours, um, which freed up a lot of competition in the eights event. Um, but I don't want to take that away from the guys that were in our boat. You know, um, we only had three days together. I always have a lot of fun whenever I go back and train and race for Oxford Brooks University. It brings back all the good memories of my student life. Um, I achieved a lot of success when I was at Oxford Brooks. Um, I really learned a lot and it really does mean a lot when I can come back and hopefully, I don't know if I can inspire, but hopefully the students can learn from me as I did from the guys I looked up to when I was at the club. So that's it for my first vlog. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope it did give you a, a little bit of an insight into what I do leading into a regatta. Um, my next vlog will probably be when we're on training camp. I imagine that's the next big thing we've got coming up. Um, I'm not taking part in Fours Head. So um, yeah, my next vlog will probably be up the mountain in Sierra Nevada in Spain. Bottom line is I, I hope you at home found this informative and I hope you continue to keep watching my vlogs because I will try and keep posting some it's not going to be as regular as many people on youtube but they will pop up around training camps and events um, but if there is anything you'd like me to do a video of in between racing and training uh, by all means leave a comment in the section below or you can find me on twitter instagram snapchat um, my usernames will come up after this section so if you do have any ideas, follow me on there, send me a message, um, and I will try and get back to you. I also have a website, matthewtarrant.co.uk. You can also email me through there on the contact section.